Yeah, I know, it was a dopey name, but I originally wanted to play Star Trek Termination, where my name was Mezzi on Steam. All right, 10 minutes, where are you at, Stalker? There's the boss, there you are. And there you were. Wait, what? Thanks for messing around in some Vampire Survivors Beswick. Beating every stage with every character. Probotector will be heading to Polis Replica. Three weapons, three passives, three arcana. Let's get it done with three stages. Probably should have grabbed Vine Bloodline first. Oh well, I wanted to build for Ice Build. So, Block Lancet. Block Lancet again? No, weapon power up now make oh I can't freeze now but eventually it will freeze and my other passive is going to be mini ghost because mini ghost is fun and everyone loves mini ghost don't you love mini ghost it gets you the best weapon ever huh, who knew that having cooldown would be essential to actually winning anything Man, Grim Fadango is basically worthless without a mount. Er. Pull down. This is already going so much better. Like, oh my god. I might actually be able to do this. I tried it with, you know, no empty tome, just two passes. Mini Ghost and the Wings, because that evolves two weapons here. But I couldn't do it. The damage just couldn't keep up. So, no Jidora, or no Mirage Robe. A Mirage Robe. And that means I get empty cooldown, which, well, it's already showing off why it's so much better than everything else in the game. Now let's hurry up. I don't want to be on the south side of the map when the evolution event spawns. All right, nice frozen central. Da -da -da. Now, obviously, I could have switched to a different freeze arcana, but I didn't want to. Now, oh, Molison, Molison. And they're actually hurting me because my area is so bad. Oh, huh, the bats are a stage event. Should have known that. Should have known a lot of things. Alright, so I'm an old sanctuary that. 69 cooldown is very high. Oh, that wasn't necessary level. Nothing's gonna survive a clock lancet shot anyway. All right, mini ghost is next. Okay, look at how the difference is insane. Cooldown on clock lancet and such. All right, there we go. And I got two clock hands shooting out. They're freezing lasers, freezing death lasers. I mean, Grimfadango needs it more, less, since, you know, that actually gets the freeze effect activated. Ooh, that's a level up storm. Oh yeah, max it out. Max it out. Ooh, almost maxed out everything. Where are you at? Oh, you're at Mina's spot. Da -da -da. Oh, I'm leaving a lot of chests behind. That's fine. That's fine. And a lot of probe attackers being shooting out. Good. Where's the molassin? Oh, crab battle. Where'd you come from, crab battle? Oh, that was poorly timed. Double? No. Well, at least it's the one I wanted first. No.
Okay, good. Duration. I mean, your duration doesn't really matter, but it might as well, since it's the most valuable stat if something does survive it. That means it's less of a threat. Hmm. I'm actually going to have to go for specifics here. Might point three doesn't really do anything. You're not a weapon that survives off of might. Well, that was very poorly timed on my part. Should have saved all of those for a much later wave. Really? Hmm. See, now that I think about it... It might... Prism Last might be the best freeze weapon, one in it. Special Vold doesn't do much damage. Hmm. I mean, its area is much bigger, so it can cover the screen and proc more. But it also gets basically nothing from a level up compared to other classes. Oh, I'm out one. Another amount one. Oh, still. Man, I'm getting... S no, you will not evolve. I need to stop getting levels. I need to just sit still for a bit. But things spawn in. The next minute's at 10. I shouldn't be able to take out the boss before it goes. Yeah, fires out really fast with this much cooldown. As you'd suspect. I'm not even sure. Oh well. Oh, yeah, I got lost in, well, the many, many failures. What? Oh, another Melise wave. But the Clock Lancet effect from Mini Ghost actually does damage on its own. It doesn't need. Nope, you are not a evolution chest. It doesn't need the effects of Out of Bounds to do damage with it. I learned that in In Live Library with Stanley, where he failed a lot with it. I wanted to try and get Paranormal Scan, because, well, it's Paranormal Scan. Oh, I'm right next to it. Nice. There we go. Time warping. skippy doo doo da day. Hey, let's get these red gems. And random always. Wow, that was far fewer levels than I was expecting. Alright. Okay, these guys are going down nice and easy now. They were a big threat last time. Turns out having damage is very good for killing things. Hey, armor. That would be very nice to grab. I'm not going to, though. I can't grab it. Oh, one of the Stanley ones already. Hey, my third Arcana. <laughs> I skipped Gemini now. I want the additional shots out for more damage. I like Jill Crystal. Well, actually, what at? No. It doesn't actually affect Time Warp, does it? Time Warp does it on 8, so... This is better, actually. Oh, no, don't grab my chickens. Make the fort. Make the fort! Yep, here's the wave that took me down on one of the other attempts. And they're being trounced like little else. Cooldown is the most powerful stat. They can't do damage, and then you win. That's what my tier list accounts for. Something, something damage. Nothing related to any of that. Where was all this luck on the other runs? Jeez. Well, Probotector seems to have finally scored himself a victory under these conditions. And for the next one, I will be doing something similar-ish. Just on a different stage. 
Ah, white out. That would make perfect sense. And Fandango is on the map there by default. That's neat. Yep, these guys are hardier, and they took me out as well. Lives are a thing, revivals are a thing. Save that Aurora Logan for when a big, thick, dangerous boss comes in. Man, the audio on this one is going to be loud. Oh, right. Grab it and run off. Whoa, what was that skip of nonsense? It's in Red's building. I have to go down and around, don't I? Yes. Down and around. There's one chest. That I will not grab because there's no point. <laughs> exact opposite side of the map. Well, no, I guess Mina and the top left are the worst. This one, though. Rocky dudes. They're very durable. Okay, yep, they're not getting in either. I think the only other real threats are the giant cyborgs, giant robots. Well, the Cyclops bots. Yeah. Oh, you didn't candy box me. This is a dumb idea. Ooh, that could have gone garlic. In fact, I will go garlic on the next one. Make them all res less resistant to freeze. Take that, bosses. Change of plans. No clock lancet. No clock lancet. Oh wow, he went down really quickly. Nice golden egg. Oh hey, these guys are dying instantly too. Nice, 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 nice. Hmm, I mean, its sheer attack speed is incredible. Let's see. I mean, it's base damage is so low. It doesn't get Divine Bloodline right. That would be a nice change. But if you could boost the base up like... No. Not why I'm here. It's stuck on terrain me. Oh, don't bust through terrain me. Oh, maybe I should abandon FT. Eh, it's not that common. That's pushed you away right when I had you where I wanted you. Dead. Oh yeah. Alright, time to go after another Atlantean. Hey, I almost have a skip. Oh, more NFT, goodness. Burn them and freeze them. What I want. In lowering the freeze resistance does help, but you also want to do that on one of the weapons that gets the benefit of Jail of Crystal more. Like whole like magic wand. Ooh, that was a bunch of level ups. And annihilated you. That's basically kept up 24-7 now, which is good. It's, it should get the benefit of duration, right? We can stack up enough between that and cool down. I mean, this is going pretty well, okay? I'm not going to break six digits, I think, but a respectable amount of kills, considering it was sort of slapdashy. Is there a rock here? There's a rock here. That I just busted through. Oh, you got too close. Well, I got too close. Huh. Without inverse, you just do not have the HP to step up to the streets, huh? Probably, probably should have tried this on inverse first before I lay up, fled back. Oh well. Oh, that's not. Well, there's a fence there. Weird. 
Doesn't feel like it. In fact, why is there only a fence there, not alongside all this other cliff? That's the one that's probably the least dangerous. Oh, vacuum, good. That was not as many red gems as it should have been. Another one up here, so I'll grab that. That was definitely not my big red gem. Oh, protector. Yeah, my red gems are missing in action. They're stuck out somewhere. 100k in about two minutes. Maybe if weaker fodder waves showed up or I had more area, it'd be quite feasible, but we got these guys a showing. And the boss here. Prom Night Dumpster Baby. And it's always so wild going back to regular when you've been on inverse because everything is just so frail. Purple Health will do that to you. Do I? Until this challenge, I really didn't play on inverse. I just didn't, don't like, you know, tons of HP on enemies. Now they're the real bullet sinks, or bullet sponges. Incidentally, I do think bullet sponge has been overused recently to the point of idiocy. Yes, let's go with idiocy. Oh, right. Celestial Bulgin. Yeah, a lot of games are just so... You... Well, this is mostly sort of a... What you call it? I'll say Fallout of Call of Duty, where you are incredibly frail and die in basically a single shot to everything. But yeah, yeah, realism, but still, it doesn't make for fun gameplay. In my opinion, apparently millions of people disagree. I like having some durability. I like actually having more durable gunplay and not just losing instantly if someone is behind me in a luckier shot or spot. Yep, I'm toasting. Oh, I guess I... well, no. Enough cold is hot. Figure that one out. You know, perfect demonstration of that is always the first Punisher movie. Just when he's fake torturing the guy, he just puts a popsicle upside his back, thinking it's a blowtorch. Because bam. Enough, wait, no, it's enough hot as cold. Enough cold as... dang it, I forgot what it was. I mean, it's the popsicle, so it's not hot as cold. Hey, you got frozen. Let's see how long I can keep you frozen. Well, you're still being hidden. Maybe if I just keep you in the time warp long enough. Nope. Oh well. That's one done. Out of bounds did the most damage by an incredible amount. Time warp did not keep up. Poor, poor time warp. Thanks for messing around. Some more vampire survivors. Probotector will be heading over to Whiteout and we will be doing some inverse since it should be feasible. Right? Right? Let's get that out of bounds right away. We're going to be seeing which freeze build is the coolest again. And we're going to be switching up the weapons just a tiny bit to show it off. Da -da -da. These are not weapons I want. That one is, though. Yay, holy wand. Or yay, magic wand. It's been forever since you've been used. Armor. What could I possibly want that for with Rune Tracer existing? You're actually on the map, so I'll take the weapon power up. Oh, spinage, if only. Hey, what the tomb? Now I just need my other weapon. Man, they just getting wrecked, huh? Oh, well, let's make it faster for now. Uh-oh. 
Who knows if I'll be able to survive it in the end. But we will see. Well, actually, if you're watching this, you will see, because that means I've made another successful video. Successful. <laughs> uh, thanks to those few of you who still watch to this point. Like all two or three of you. More base damage up, huh? Oh, snowman. Snowmans. Jeez, where the heck are you, Rune Tracer? I know I unsealed you. And no excuse for this, huh? Oh, wait, you all die, don't you? Wait, no, you don't. What? What? That doesn't make sense. I have out of bounds. Ooh, do not go in that snowman when it's on frozen. Hey, vacuum. Oh, wait. CU laser works as well. Wait, that evolves with tier Jisu, and I don't have tier Jisu. I have armor, because armor increases my might. And I need as much everything as I can. There you are, Rune Tracer, finally. Show your mouth. Oh, it doesn't destroy them. I guess they're considered a light source. Level up. Oh, man. Of course I had to do it on Whiteout. This stage has such weird conditions for its evolution chests. Like, not spawning in at all. <laughs> How much damage is it doing? 70? Actually, not the worst, considering the speed at which Hold Magic Wand and Holy Wand will fire off. Well, Pro Protector's doing worse, but Pro Protector has infinite pierce in a giant area. And it's, frankly, just as fast in the end. Or Prism Lass. Protector is the character shooting them out. Ha ha ha. I might as well grab the wings while I'm moving over. Da, da, da. They're still going down, but it's only when we get to the, like Baba Oni clone that things start getting dice here. I mean, Eleanor. Yeah, here we go. Hmm, they're not being frozen as much as I would like. Which is all the time. Let me go get this wings. I'm durable enough to run through them. They don't seem to be doing that much damage, which is nice. Up oh, more Logan. There we go. Oh, more Aura Logan. More Aura Logan. More Aura Logan. More Aura Logan. Wait, can I just basically chain these because I keep destroying the snowmen? Oh, let me get that clover. At least the freeze chance, yeah. Because right, it's El Molise and I don't really need to do anything. Oh, wait, no, that's not the Archon chest. Why did I think there was a Archon chest over there? Yep, that's a happening. Now I gotta stay still till that dang, Ar dang evolution chest shows up. Please, no. Oh, hope you ring eternal. Could use the Orlogians to try and sneak my way through. Well, having only three things to level up. This sort of means this is inevitable a lot of the time. It's gonna get worse with the poor evolution chests on this map. Why are they so bad? I don't think any other map is as messed up as this. Oh, well, my damage is actually pretty okay. Rune Tracers hit them far enough away that they get frozen and booned. Now, what do I want? Well, it wakes the standard. Rebalance is not helpful here. I mean, it'd be helpful, I just don't want it. Oh, duh. Silent Old Sanctuary. Why would I think anything else? Where did I get close enough to get that? Ooh, 
Free passive. Small free passive. Light sources, eh? Huh, they're going down a lot easier than I was expecting. Oh, robot wave. Okay, if I get taken in, I got some more Logans to grab. Like right above me. And the grenade, too. No, it seems like they're getting frozen enough that it doesn't matter that much. Just... Oh. That means the next one's at like 10 minutes, which is... Or 11 minutes, which is really weird. I know the stage is shorter because it's a bonus stage, but still. Okay, this freeze build is definitely pulling it off better than the one in Polis Replica. Like, so much better. Oh my gosh. And see, laser is going to be even more ridiculous. As it gets pronto beamed. Yay, pronto beam. Heck, this is hardy enough that I would want to risk going to Bone Zone. Well, I mean, if I ever go back to Bone Zone, it would be with a freeze build anyway. But once we'll test it out. Freezing them bones solid. You got some good old vampire survivors action for you. Good God, I hope this is recording correctly. Mic is on. Audio should be okay. God, I hope it's okay. Every time I listen to the recordings back, the audio seems fine, but I'm always... And then when I listen to it on YouTube, it seems okay. I'm still frightened that the audio is bad or something. Got some good old Vampire Survivor going. Yep, they're frozen and torn apart. They don't stand a chance. These are the robots. They're very scary wave normally. Good God, where is that evolution chest already? Man, why are the evolution chests on here so broken up? If I was a smart person, I'd post it on the Discord. I'm not. So I'm going to continue to dope around like this. Still, this is a pretty dominating performance. If the giant robots can't get in... It should be clear as day to the end. Nothing left that's dangerous would be the snow wave. Or the snowman wave. And I got a billion Warologians stocked up, so... Oh, excuse me. Okay, there's a chest down there. Can't see it, though. There you are. Finally, an evolution. Might... Yeah, that figures. Doesn't matter what it is, it's gonna be better than nothing. Seriously, stop giving me just magic wands. I have three weapons here. Good grief. At least I'm getting a lot of pierce on magic wand. We'll probably not evolve to the max because the demolition chests here are so broken. I'm out one. Huh. I think I almost want Pierce. Wow, that layered up because there were so many stacked up on top of one another. Skip you because it's 3 for 3. Third wave for the Beswick. Gotta beat them all them stages, the vampire survivors. More giant robot waves. I just run through them. Wow. It's not a good sign for them. This might be threatening if I didn't have a million bloody Orologians around. I'm pretty sure I could literally just chain them till the end of the level. So if you're ever struggling here, just grab out of bounds and chain Orologians till the end. There'd be no trouble whatsoever. Yeah, there's two of them. And they're like Kit Sane. They're not Amaretsu, despite what I thought. Only a million more Aura Logans to go through. Yay, level ups. 
see two more down there, and there's a bunch more up north, too. And more and more will start spawning in now. And I'm gonna basically chain this back to back for like five minutes, huh? They can't do anything when the screen is frozen. Now that's power you can count on in this one very extreme and specific circumstance. Oh, hey, there's none on screen anymore. Let's fix that. Huh? That was awkward. I was almost vulnerable there. Let's take out some more snowmans. Oh. Huh. I mean, it's not like I'm going to lose at this point. Whoa. Ran into the boss. Oh, barrier. Barrier, barrier. Triple barrier, yeah. I don't know which one of these is the ones I was beating up on more. Oh, can I take it down? Yeah, nice. And I get two evolutions at the very last second. With a candy box. What an amazing chest. What a pointless chest that was. Well, I killed one of the Kitsunes. That was nice. I could see how many Orlogans I can chain. Oh man. And Stalker showed up as well. 13.9 million and out of bounds. What a ridiculous arcana that is. Uh, let's see, Time Warp only did 5.7 million. So it did more DPS overall, I would have caught up eventually. Surpassed it greatly, but still, Out of Bounds is probably one of the most damaging outright Arcanas in the game. Back into the third zone, Probotector, the Bone Zone. Let's see what the Final Freeze build can pull off in one of the hardest stages in the game. That not healing is a real dangerous situation, eh? But can it survive the Out of Bounds experience? Yes. Yes, it can. You are not things I want. That is a thing I want, though. As is that. So there's my weapons taken care of. There's my Tiradisu one. And armor up. And empty Toman. And something I noticed is, once again, well, I noticed again, because, you know, time is a flat circle. Hmm, I'm not going to have as much area clear as I did last time until Prismatic Missile gets some levels, get some speed going. All these are not great. Now, cover my rear occasionally. Here, you're really relying on innate healing or lucky random events. Ooh, man, they're not going down in one hit. That's bad. At least I can get more from the light sources than other characters. I don't need the base damage. I need, really just need the speed on it for now. Or the cooldown. Let's max the cooldown. Probably should have saved that for when Stalker showed up, huh? Oh well. Man, this stage is hard. It's a hard one. Can Probotector beat the Bone Zone? That will be a weird thing. If he couldn't. Yeah, reduce the cooldown. Try and get a wave going. Man, they just sneak in and take down my barriers. Well, still, it's damage I'm not taking. That's, in theory, a billion health, and I mean, in theory, it could save you like 60,000 health because of Reaper damage. Woo. I'm getting a lot of the, uh, whatchamacallit's, rabbit fires. 
And while Jackdile on that is more valuable as this cooldown reduction. Yep. Okay, good. With Prismatic Missile maxed out. Yeah, between these I've got a lot better of a situation. I should be able to heal it back up. And hopefully pop in a grenade. Find a grenade. I can pop it immediately when Stalker and the boss show up. I can get Pronto Beam ASAP. I didn't need to banish Time Warp. I wasn't getting wings. Oh well. There's a grenade. Nice. Just need to hold off on grabbing that. Yeah. Really, really odd that Prismatic. One with Claw Clance, it was one of the most difficult ones. No, there's no way I could save that. Okay. Actually, I think Prismatic Missile will keep me nice and safe. I don't want to use up all my XP here, so... Until I get an evolution. Alright. Good, I've got a nice little barrier here. It'll even protect me from the bullets, yay! Wait, why is it shooting out two? Oh, that was the Prism Damsel Gemini effect. Wow, it doesn't go out very far, huh? It doesn't look like I'm getting damaged, so this is good. Not an evolution chest. It can't be. Do I want the rapid fire? Yes, let's get the rapid fire. Should wipe out these shooters, just in case. Obviously not doing anything, but still. Wait, I'm not going to get anything from chests pop it so it's not in the way. Yes, I got multiple grenades stacked up. Good. Good, I should have a pretty clean run. Then, Stalker is really the biggest danger, and as long as I don't mess up with them, grenades should be all good. Yeah, I get big ol' out-of-bounds damage going. Really feel it when you hit big damage. It just keeps popping, too. Oh, there's Drowner, way earlier than he should be. Bye-bye. Wait, do you drop Evolution Chest? You do? Yeah. And I get the weapon that will annihilate everything. Try and survive this, you things of evil. You can't. You can't. Alright, ten minutes is when Stalker shows up. Gotta keep my eye out. Oh, it's nice to have one run, one and done runs too, after all of Stanley's nonsense. That's what I get for trying to go gimmicky. Ooh, that's a lot of bugs. Bugs? Bugs? Wrong game. That's Starship Troopers Extermination. Man, Casper Van Diem just hyped it up so much yesterday. Way to time this recording session. Mezzy, around. I don't think anyone's actually referred to me by name. Yeah, I know, it was a dopey name, but I originally wanted to play Star Trek Termination, where my name was Mezzi on Steam. All right, ten minutes, where are you at, Stalker? There's the boss, there you are. And there you were. Wait, what? Oh, right. I got two counter weapons, so I get multiple weapon pickups. Oh, you're not being frozen. Wait, I can't evolve anything else. What am I doing? Oh, candy box. Hi. Wait, I got hit by something? When? Well, I can stock up a good chunk of barriers, at least. You know, the fact that they can get these means they're a lot... Don't... Means they have a lot more versatility in the bone zone than a lot of the other characters. Well, I mean, you could always just go Rondo of Gold and heal off all the gold. Just go Gold and heal off all the gold. And just do it that way. Speed's actually not bad, since it means the lasers go faster. And they don't... they dissipate from the back end, so... Hey, what do I even want? Wait, you get... 
You get Twilight Requiem and Deal of Crystal out of bounds? That's ridiculous. Oh, same thing with Luminaire. I don't know if... I think Luminaire only gets the benefit of one of the Arcana for whatever reason. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, I can see the Pronto Laser shooting out the Twilight Blast, Twilight Requiem Blasts over there. But I don't see Luminaire doing it unless it's really faint. Well, let me know if you can see it. Huh. You know, Luminaire gives you... Why did I go that instead of Silent Old Sanctuary? Would have been more damage. A lot more damage. If I lose because of that, I'm going to smack myself in the forehead. But yeah, being able to get confirmed grenades, they're not that much of an uncommon drop. And see, they have a much easier time in the bone zone than other classes because you don't have to run from stalker like that as much. Oh, hey, finally my level up storm. That's good. Obviously, focus super hard on Pronto Beam. There's nothing that's going to match it. Not by a long shot. One of the better weapons from the DLC laser is one of the better weapons at base, and Pronto Laser is one of the strongest weapons. Like, look at... This is just with it being under super underpowered, too, and it's still absolutely ridiculous like this. Like, in a proper setup, absolutely nuts. Go boogaloo with it, and then the screen is nothing but endlessly freezing death lasers. Which, hey, maybe Lucio will do that. Uh, heck, she actually gets the benefit. The weapon gets the benefit of all three, doesn't it? All three of the scaling arcana. So maybe I'll do that on a uh, Lucia's. Lucia? Lucia, yeah. Lucia's build. Ariana's right gun, Lucia's sea laser, and Sheena is the crossbow. Heck, even the boss skeleton here can't do much for how much trouble he's given me elsewhere. It's nice to see. Still gotta keep my eyes open for something else to spawn in. Like another dang stalker or drowner. Or heck, maybe the illusionist or maddener will show up. Illusioner. You know, orange is a pretty dang rare color to see and stuff. I guess we're so conditioned to see it as caution. I don't really think think of it that much like it's just in this game i think it's madden or a couple pallets over on the skeleton boss like that grenade calf there but otherwise i don't think any of the characters actually have orange on them none of the stages really have any abundance you'll see blue in fantasy plenty as you can see by all this nice freezing well Fiction? Fiction, yes. Fiction works. This is not a... Well, it is a fantasy. Well, it's a fantasy and sci-fi game. Now. Go, go, robot protector. I get that sweet, sweet Operation Goons. Twelve characters, though. Jeez. Oh, that added so many to the Beswick chart. And I've accomplished so little back. Hey, back on the third wave. At three a day, I'll eventually all... Get this done and buy, get it back down to 1200 by the time the third DLC comes out. Or fifth DLC comes out. God, I inexplicably hope it's Sukadin so bad. I've gotten so busy with so much stuff, I still haven't gotten platinum in so many games I enjoy. Look at them lasers. It'd be so much more ridiculous, too. It will be so much more ridiculous when I get over to Lucia. Oh, big boss skeleton. I'll just go random always. I'm almost done. Oh, that was all my levels. 
man, the bone zones and experience pinata when you can actually do things. Huh? Take your nade. Oh, I took damage from something. When did that happen? Yeah, kill count's going up pretty fast considering this is not the best possible level of power you could reach. Oh man, I have to spread the beams around. Not hitting enough stuff. I can barely hit anything, huh? They're dying too fast to lasers that are just there already. Nothing gaining because of prismatic missile. Oh. Well, uh, give me a comment below which of the three freeze builds looked the best to you. Obviously, they're not all maximized, and well, the first one seems very unlikely to win, considering it had so much more trouble and had to actually go on regular, on, on verse mode. Hey, Arcana chest to grab and ignore. Hello, Rapid Fire. How are you doing? Still, 70,000 kills. It's very good on Bone Zone. Bait it. Okay, I think the animation's broken because he is facing left but shooting right. Yep, he is absolutely facing to the left and shooting right. Ah, uh, that's some vampire survivors for you. Broken in two, buried under a hill. Oh, whoa, the gems are getting in. That's very unfortunate. Also, very bad luck. Okay. Let me grab this barrier. Oh, good thing I grabbed that other revive. Wait, what? It's 30 minutes? Oh. Why do, I, why do I always think it's... Well, yeah, it's a bonus stage. This is the only bonus stage that's longer than 25, isn't it? And there's a vacuum somewhere up here. I have to try and find something helpful. Okay, I need to actually, you know... Oh, are you kidding me? Well... Obviously, I would have won much easier if that dang explosion wave hadn't shown up. Seriously, where did that come from? Oh, well, I know where it came from. It came from random events. But man, two... lost two revives off that way. Why do I have so many more revives? Oh, right, I have two Jisoo. Good grief, me. Good grief. Okay, so I have three more revives. It's not a problem to survive that long. This is one of those harder waves. Oh, they're all ridiculously hard from this point on. Uh, oh, I got Molise. That's another minute of being invincible, basically. So I gotta go grab all this XP that I can. Grab some of these barriers. Remember, the power-ups for this don't spawn in on the map for some reason. Oh, there was my red gem. More barrier. Okay, should be able to chain some grenades. I think it's super dicey. But okay, if this is dominating Bone Zone so much, then it's probably the best of the builds. This is the coolest of the builds. Oh, I got some damage taken. Let's fix that. Again, are you kidding me? You're sound through to the other side. What tremendous unlock in the end. Good God, it's like I'm Fuko all of a sudden. 
Okay, and there is the third one done. And Out of Bounds once again proves how absolutely ridiculous it is. Probably it's the most upfront damaging of all the Arcana. So, leave it down below which of the three builds you think is coolest, and thanks for watching. Okay, and with Triple Freeze build down, Robotector has shown off which one is the coolest. Do you agree with the one I listed, or do you not disagree? Leave a comment down below. And a like or comment if you want to see more stuff like that. I don't know why I'm doing this right now instead of with a thumbnail. Weird. Okay. Anyway, that's 288 stage character combinations down. And 1,644 more to go. Oh boy. Thanks for watching. Hope you've had a good time enjoying this stream. Stream? No, this is a live recording. Oh, I'm so dopey. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in some vampire survivors.